What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Show. In 2020, hardware developer Crix released the much-anticipated Mega EverDrive Pro to the world. This new Pro model was developed in part due to the components of the original Mega EverDrive going end of life. Crix used this moment in time not only to step up to a more powerful FPGA, but also to provide all new features to the cart, which includes Sega CD loading along with quality of life features to the UI. In this video, I will walk you through the process of getting your Mega EverDrive Pro updated for 2021 and beyond. I'll also give you some simple tips on how to get started after setup. Link to the tools and downloads in the description below. Before getting started, you'll want to do a quick check of the hardware that you'll be using with the Mega EverDrive Pro, as some setups will be incompatible in a few ways. You'll need to detach the Sega CD from the Genesis Model 1 and 2 consoles in order to play CD games off of the cart. The Genesis 3 and Sega Nomad can both play Sega CD and Master System games, provided you perform the internal mods to get them working. Sega CD games are disabled on the Sega Multimega, CDX, Laser Active, XI, and Wonder Mega. Getting started, you'll want to make sure you have a large enough SD card to hold your games. I recommend getting an SD card that is 256 gigabytes or more. This will allow you to get the full set of games for the Genesis and Master System, the full set of Sega CD games, and a number of MSU MD games that you might be interested in having. The card can be formatted as FAT32 or XFAT. If you'd like to format in FAT32, I recommend you use the formatter tool known as FAT32 Format. Format the SD card, renaming it something that you can remember. In this example, I named it MED underscore pro. With the SD card taken care of, head to the web store for the Mega EverDrive Pro. Here you will find the latest firmware, which is of the time of this video, version 4.14. Click on OS Update, then download the zip file at the bottom of the page. Extract the contents of both zip files into the Mega slash Themes folder. Take out the time to search the internet for BIOS files for your Sega CD games. You'll want a BIOS file for each of the three regions. Once obtained, place these files into the Mega slash BIOS folder. Rename each BIOS file as seen on screen. This will allow the Pro to utilize each file. You may also use a Sega Master System BIOS, though it is not required. If you'd like to use one, find the file that you're interested in, rename it smsbios.sms, then drop it in the folder with the rest. Place all of your ROM files onto the SD card. When adding Sega CD games, make sure you have each game in its own separate folder so that they are visible and run correctly from the file browser. The Mega EverDrive Pro supports various file types, including bin and queue, queue and wave, and multi-bin images. For multi-disc games, you'll want to make sure that you place each disc into the same folder so that the Pro can swap discs as needed. Finally, you can finish off your installation by adding a custom theme to your flash cart. 
There are two locations where you can find these themes. First, head to Crix's repository and navigate to the Mega Theme folder, then download the zip file. Next, head to the Arcade TV webpage, then click on Download All Themes. Extract the contents of both zip files into the Mega slash Themes folder. When going through the Mega Theme zip file, be sure to navigate to the subfolders and extract the individual BGR files. Power on the cart, navigate to the Mega folder, and then to Themes. You may now select a theme of your choosing by highlighting the theme and pressing A twice. Pressing C on the file browser will open up the menu options for the cart. Here you will be allowed to change up your settings with the Pro. The in-game menu can be turned on or off along with other options. This includes cheats, the BIOS and FM audio for the master system, themes, file sorting, and warnings. I recommend you keep the mega key turned on. The Mega Key will allow your Pro Cart to be used in any region Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. Turning the Reset to Menu option on will allow your cart to boot back to the main menu anytime the Reset button is activated. Under the Mega CD options, you'll be allowed to manipulate the Low Pass filter for PCM audio, as well as give the CDDA audio a treble boost. Under In-Game Combo, you'll be able to set your key combinations for saving and loading states. Here are some key combinations that I recommend. Finally, within the Options menu, you have the real-time clock to set up for the cart. Set the time so that the files generated by the cart are properly dated. Below Options, you can see a list of recently played games, and below that, you can input cheats. Selecting Diagnostics will run a self-check on the cart to ensure everything is running properly. Upon highlighting a file and pressing the A button, a submenu will pop up with a few more options. You may start the game, apply cheats, check the ROM information, or set the region to taste. You may also check the hex values for the game or delete the file from your cart. The Mega EverDrive Pro is capable of playing most Sega Genesis games without issue. Virtua Racing is also included, which makes use of the custom SVP chip that Sega developed for the game. However, you cannot access the main menu from this game and will have to press the reset button to exit. The cart will also be able to play games with abnormally large file sizes, such as Demons of Astaborg and Sonic Delta. Pressing your in-game menu key combination will allow you to handle save states, enter cheats, perform a soft reset, or exit back to the main menu. All Sega 32X games are supported for Genesis consoles, provided you have a 32X unit attached. If you attempt to launch a 32X game without one attached, you'll get a warning message that prevents you from booting. Due to the 32X's increased complexity with the Genesis console, you'll have to take some considerations in mind. Having the 32X attached will prohibit you from being able to play Sega CD and Master System games. 
You also won't be able to access the in-game menu or use save states. As of this time, Sega 32X CD is not supported. Sega Master System games are also mostly compatible, with the exception of MSX conversions. These include Sega Game Gear games that have been converted to be played on a Master System. If you added a Sega Master System BIOS file, you'll be treated to a BIOS splash screen upon loading a game. Flipping SMS YM2413 to ON in the main menu will force FM audio for games that are compatible. Pressing your in-game menu key combo will allow you to save and load states, reset, or exit to the main menu. Playing SG-1000 games is impossible on any original Genesis console, as the Genesis VDP lacks the video modes to display properly. However, if you're using Analog's Mega SG, you'll be able to play these games as the console makes use of its own internal SMS core to pass along the video. Support for the Sega CD covers every known game that's in the library, provided you have each of the required regional BIOS files. Loading times are greatly improved over original hardware, and the Sega CD core itself makes use of MD Fourier to dial in the filtering for the audio. For multi-disc games, the next disc will be loaded in automatically as required by the core. There is no in-game menu during Sega CD gameplay, so you'll need to manually press the reset button on your console or on the card in order to head back to the menu. Alongside this, there is no save state functionality for Sega CD games. A new feature that has been added to the Pro is the ability to play Genesis games that have been enhanced with Redbook Audio. These games are known as MSU-MD games. Each game will require the ROM file to be modded with an IPS patch, then bundled into a folder with the Q file and its respective audio files. This format takes after the MD Plus feature that was pioneered by Terra Onion's Mega SD, but it does contain a few drawbacks. Games that have been patched for MD Plus either will lack the seamless looping of music on the Pro or any music output at all. I'll be working on a video focusing on MSU MD and MD Plus in the near future. Another feature that Crix slipped into the Mega EverDrive Pro is the ability to play NES games. While it is a neat addition to play NES games on a Sega Genesis, understand that it does come with a number of limitations. Sound is inaccurate and the palette used is quite garish. If a specific mapper is not supported, you'll get a warning message upon attempting to load. Some games that are supported will come with a host of glitches and errors. With this in mind, you can at least expect to play simple mapper games in a pinch or for fun. If you would like to play NES games on a Mega SG, you must first go into video settings and change the buffer mode to fully buffered or single delay. For games that have save support, saving your game will write a .srm file to the SMD BRAM and the SMS BRAM subfolders within the saves folder. As they are .srm files, they can be moved to and from the SD card and backed up, or transferred to other compatible carts or emulators. Make sure you're matching the file name of the .srm to the name of the ROM to get them going. For Sega CD games, you can toggle the per game BRAM option in the menu. This will force the pro to create a save file for each and every game into an internal save pool. Leaving this off will create a RAM cart.srm copy per save. With the 4.14 update, Crix has developed a new folder structure for save states. Save states will now be reorganized into new subfolders, which will help expedite the save state process. If you are coming from a previous version of the firmware, upon powering on the cart, you will get a message which prompts you to export your save state files into the new folder format. 
The save state feature on the Pro allows for 100 separate save slots per game, with the very last one being a new recovery slot. Whenever you save a state over the slot that has been occupied with a save, a duplicate of the previous save state will be pushed to the recovery slot automatically. This feature can be useful for recovery states in a pinch, but keep in mind if you continue to save new states, it will push new data to the recovery slot in tandem. With each save state that has been created, a timestamp will be marked at the bottom of the in-game menu. These files will be saved in the saves slash SMD snap folder for the Genesis and SMS snap folder for the Sega Master System. Under the SMD snap folder, you can preview images of each state that has been created. These files can be backed up and shared with others. Two third-party additions to the Mega EverDrive Pro come in the form of Mega Color and Mega Doom, both of which were originally designed by software developer Unique Games. The Mega Color allows you to convert video files into a format that is streamable by the Pro. As of the version 4.08 update, Crix has integrated this feature into the Pro fully, meaning that you'll only need to convert the videos in order to watch them. In order to do this, head to Crix's repository to download the converter and player zip files. Create a folder on the desktop, then extract the contents of the converter zip within. With an mp4 file of your choosing, drag it over the batch file so it begins the process. Once this process is complete, the batch file will create a new .mvc file that can be used in the Pro. Create a folder on your SD card, naming it something you can remember for your video files, then move your newly created mvc file within. If you would like to use the Mega Color Player ROM, you may also extract the contents of the player zip within the same folder, though it is not required. You may now pop the card out and give your new video a test playback. There are only two commands within Mega Color. Pressing the A button will pause the video playback. Pressing the B button will immediately exit you to the main menu. Converted files created for the Mega Color can be in excess of up to 8 gigabytes in size or more. Large file sizes such as these may suffer from desync issues in the audio playback. Mega Doom is a port of the original Doom to the Sega Genesis via the Pro. Not only is Doom supported, but a number of other variant games as well, provided you have the correct WAD files in separate folders. For this example, we'll grab the provided shareware Doom pack. Head to Unique Games Mega Doom tweet and download the pack of your choosing.
Create a folder on your SD card, then extract the Megadoom folder from the zip onto the card. Game music can be changed as long as they are WAV files that are signed 16-bit and 44,100 Hz. The files must also maintain the same naming convention in the music folder. Once done, pop the SD card back into your cart and give it a go, selecting megadoom.bin within the folder. There is a possible issue that can come up upon loading the game, where it will hang on one of the initialization prompts. A solution to this that I have read on Twitter is to shorten the path, removing any spaces within the folder name. However, this is not a catch-all fix. If you'll be adding multiple Doom games to your cart, place them in different folders, renaming each. Here are the controller commands for Megadoom once you're in game. This concludes the tutorial for the Mega EverDrive Pro. I hope you enjoyed it and were able to get a couple of cool things out of this video. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Do you have a Sega game that you would like to recommend? Any questions for me concerning this video? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, consider dropping a sub or a like. Also, why not check this video out? Peace.